Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, um, everything's a bit messed up. Wanted to get this video in because it is the weekend. And, um, yeah, so, Island Royale. First of all, I have a change of name and everything. I'm um, just setting up the kits and everything. That's a temporary map I made on the first one. I still have it set up. I haven't made the map or edited anything. But, um,. So yeah, I will show off the menu, gonna change the name eventually, it's not actually an alpha, it's in testing, because I haven't released the game, exit does work, but for the people who actually use Unity, you'll know that you can't exit the game when you're um, testing it in Unity, unless you build and run the game. So uh, here's credits, and so it's unfinished, uh, I report bugs which you can click on, doesn't do anything yet, um, and so yeah, and then match is going to take you to different matches, so for now you can just join the game, so, first off, uh, I have a lot of things to work on, uh, or to tell all of you about with the weapons, so first of all, the AK-12 got nerfed, uh, this gun here, and so I'm not too sure okay everything is kind of glitching out now that I'm recording so you oh no <laughs> oh gosh anyways um don't mind the island royale thing <laughs> not where it's supposed to be um but you can see in the top left corner I have AK-12 I'm also gonna put a picture of an AK-12 there and then if I scroll I have a Glock and if I scroll again, I have a Saiga, which is a semi-auto shotgun, which is not the correct model for it. I, this is just for testing. Um, so they all do have different speeds. I put in the player death sound. I know it sounds kind of weird, uh, but I haven't put in sounds for the Glock or the Saiga yet. You can also scroll forward infinitely or backwards infinitely. And you also have the FPS and everything. Now, if I were to put in another player into the game, then you would be able to kill them. But, um, so one thing I want to show you re real quickly here. This little plate thing, you're probably, I mean, you might wonder what it is. It's a spawn plate. Um, whichever player you choose spawns on this island, basically, will spawn there, uh, respawn there, and spawn there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that part. So, next, I actually have to go to the game. And I don't know why it does this. It's just randomly messing everything up. So, real quickly, just going to put that in the corner there. Oh, yeah, and also remember, I to anchor things because it gets really annoying. Um, so I'm um, real quickly gonna go to this. Get out of uh, second person mode. So you go over here, you see we have multiple guns. Uh, I have a weapon holder which holds all the weapons and activates and deactivates them. So, uh, where is player prefab? player gonna show the gun stats uh, spine neck okay I'm just gonna get the player thing out of here so you can properly see everything forearm hand and in hand I put weapon holder which is an empty object if you are wondering and so I have the AK here <clears throat> gonna start with the AK-12 so it has around 600 uh, fire rate, uh, it does 32 damage per second, um, but it's kind of weird, so it doesn't necessarily do the right amount of damage, and um, yeah, it doesn't have much force. Um, the next one is the pistol, uh, it has a fire rate of 1, well, like any normal pistol and then the damage per second is 15 honestly I think I should turn it up a bit for the uh, weapons that aren't automatic 
And then here's the Saiga, the shotgun, and its frequency is 1. I'm actually going to change it to 1.5 since it's semi-auto, and that should be better. Damage per second is 65 because it's a shotgun. And yeah. So now I'm going to go back in the game and I'm going to try the Saiga real quickly. Oh yeah, you can also hold down if you don't like pressing every time to shoot. Uh, it doesn't make noises, but um, yeah. <clears throat> and by the way, if you're wondering uh, if I will change the noises for the shotgun, I <laughs> these are not permanent noises at all. So yeah. Uh, next thing I'm gonna be working on. Next thing you will all see is probably map changing and um yeah better ai so yeah i actually got a lot more done than i thought i would i don't quite remember what i said i was going to do in the next episode uh, i'm pretty sure it was either working on gun switching or <clears throat> ui but i actually completed a lot within a week so yeah that <laughs> week's progress i actually did a lot and uh, the island where all things glitching out again oh my gosh that's one thing I need to fix. It just happened when I was recording. So. Don't know what is wrong with this. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to test this out. See if it works. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. And yep, it works. So now I'm gonna show you what the pistol looks like. So yeah, you can kinda just shoot a bit like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the force down. Uh, basically force will um, depend on <laughs> how far the enemy will get shot back. So one more shot and the AI should be dead. Oh, never mind. Uh, that was a bit weird. So yeah, the AK does the least damage, but you can spray at the enemy and stuff. And there's no ammo yet, but I'm going to add a lot more stuff. I may even add in the hunger and everything system. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, uh, if you did like the video, please leave a like down below. Comment uh, how you think this game might turn out in the end, if you like it or not. And um... Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to check out the future updates. See you all later.